latent heat of fusion and vaporization. Okay, so fusion is here. This is this segment here. Okay, and then vaporization will be. So vaporization is more, and it almost always is more, right? Because it's a such a radical change to go from the, this is a subtle change, right? They're, they're locked in position, and now they can slide around each other, but they stay in contact with each other. This is the, you know, it goes from they're touching each other to they're flying around like uh, ping pong balls, right? And then we notice, notice that we've got uh, 0.016, that's our mass, right? So mass is 0.016, and then we're going to use Q as ML, so L is just Q divided by M. So all we need is just the heat that flows in, right? So for uh, fusion, this heat is, it starts at 50 and ends at 200, right? So Q is, is 200 minus 50 is 150 joules, right? So latent heat of fusion is going to be uh, 150 joules divided by 0 0.016. And that's 9375. And that's just joules per kilogram. Or 9380, right? All right, so vaporization. Vaporization has the... Uh, we still have like a visor, right? V-I-S-O-R. Or do we use a Z for that? I don't know. Okay, so let's see. Latent heat is going to be how much heat flows in. Well, this is 100, to 100 200, 250, right? So Q for this guy is going to be uh, 600 minus 350. I believe that's 250. Is that right? 1, 2, 250. Yeah. And that's all we need, right? So 250 joules divided by 0 0.016 kilograms. 250 divided by 0 0.016 is 15, 625 joules per kilogram. Ta-da.